In this lesson, we are going to take a look at package managers. This is what you're going to use to install the application, software and hacking tools on your system. One of the most popular package managers is the apt command, the advanced package tool. So sudo apt and then type in install for the application you want to install. Uh, one of the common things to do is to install an update first. Uh, update your applications, your repository before installing a tool or application. So I'm just type in my sudo command. As we can see here, the, the software updater has popped up. So in Ubuntu, there's actually a GUI to update software. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Just run through this command. Looks like everything's up to date. I'll just show you the GUI in Ubuntu. So if you go to the menu at the bottom, the show apps menu, and the little box at the bottom here. And then if we look for the icon, I think it's on the next page. And there we go, the software updater. So you can update from there as well with the GUI. But it's probably easier to do it from the command line. So let's go back to the terminal. And now let's install a hacking tool. So sudo apt install. And we'll install nmap. So with Ubuntu, you won't have hacking tools pre-installed like a hacking distribution, say Kali Linux. But you can easily turn Ubuntu into a hacking machine and install the tools that you need. The repository contains a lot of the tools that uh, come with Kali. And it's very easy to pick what you want and install it. So that installation has gone through. We can now test whether Nmap is working. Let's head to the options menu. So nmap dash h. And there we go. So I know nmap is working. I could now type in nmap and then the IP address that I want to target and scan for open ports. So that's installing an application with apt. Another package manager that you'll use quite often, especially if you're working with Python, is pip. This is the package manager for Python applications and tools. You might use this command when you're pulling things from GitHub, and we'll take a look at GitHub later. So pip install Python 3, that's not actually gone through. Sometimes you might need to type in pip 3, or you can use the apt command again. I think I'll try apt here, suggesting that. Uh, so let's uh, do a sudo apt install Python 3. This is already installed, but uh, we'll just show you in this video. sudo apt install python3. And that's gone through, but as it says here, it's already got the latest version. But pip will be a common package manager. Let's go ahead and install another application. We're going to install Thunderbird. This is the email client, has more security features than Outlook. So sudo apt install Thunderbird. Type in the password for sudo. And that's going ahead and installing. And again, it's not going to take too long. And there we go. So let's go ahead and run it. Thunderbird that it's running and working and there we go we've got the interface for Thunderbird and we can now start using that application so that's how you can run it easily from the command line so let's clear this screen so next let's type in sudo at and we want to remove Thunderbird. So if you want to delete uh, an application that you've installed, it's the remove command. And then you type in the application, so we're gonna remove Thunderbird. And again, it removes it quickly, just as fast as it installed it. 
and Thunderbird is now gone. So another command you might want to use, I'm not going to use an example here, but if there's a broken installation, maybe it's missing some dependencies, you can use this command at dash dash fix dash broken install. This happens rarely, but sometimes you might get problems with the installation, there's something missing, you can use this command to rectify the installation. So another command, sudo apt upgrade. Now this does the same thing as the uh, software update that we looked at in the GUI and this updates all the applications in the repository of Ubuntu. So you're going to get all the latest versions. And again this is a command you want to use quite regularly, same as update. And again it's run through quite quickly there. So another command, sudo apt list, and this shows all the applications available in the Ubuntu repository. These aren't the applications that are installed on your device, this is what's available in the repository. So again this would be useful if you want to try and find uh, the tools that you want, you want to make sure they're available with the Linux distribution that you have. You can just quickly scan through this and find what you need and then you can go ahead and install them. And as you can see there are lots of applications available in the Ubuntu repository. We can have a look at what we've installed as well. So again it's the sudo apt list command. But this time we want to see what's installed, so we type in dash dash installed. And this time we can see what is installed on our machine. And we should be able to see Nmap because we've just installed it. There's Python 3. And there's Nmap. On to the final package manager that I'm going to show you in this lesson. I will uh, talk about other package managers in the written part of the tutorial on the learning platform. But the final one here is Git, and this will work with GitHub. Uh, this will be useful for hackers when you're pulling tools from GitHub repositories. So you type in the command git clone, and you clone the URL of the repository. Now I'm setting up my own repository which I'm going to make available to all of you. It's going to be for free. Uh, I've just started to creating tools with Python. I will advertise this on the channel and the blog soon. But I've got more tools to write first. So all you do is you copy the URL uh, of the repository. It's called Recon Framework. And you paste that into the terminal after git clone, so a space paste the URL and it's just included the response code there so I just need to remove that and that little bit at the end there you just want the URL and that will clone the, the repository it saves it as a directory on the system and it didn't actually put which uh, directory I was going to save it in but it should be in the home directory just find out where we are, pwd, and we're in the home directory, if you type in ls, we should be able to see the file, there it is, recon framework. So we can now head to that, if we put the cd, change directory, command, Type in Recon Framework, again you have to type it as it is. So we should be in there now. Type ls and there's all our tools. We've copied it exactly as it was in the repository. So you can then go ahead and use the scanner or the scraper. Um, with Python tools you'd probably type in Python 3 first. Some tools you might need to do this, the pip3 package manager install and re read a requirements.txt. I don't need it for my tools 
but some applications that developers have created might require to do this for it to work. It pulls things that it needs. So I've typed this in wrong here, but you'd actually type in Python 3, uh, then type the name of the application, and then any arguments that are required for it to work. That's how you pull tools from GitHub.